In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at empirical and molecular formulae. This tutorial video has been made um, with reference to this document here, which is uh, notes on how you can calculate empirical and molecular formula. You can download this free from sciencegraph.co.nz. In front of me here, I'll be referring to the right hand side of that page um, with an example question with aspartame with a mass composition of 57.1% carbon. 6.16% hydrogen and so on. The first step to getting the empirical formula is to take all of these percentages and write them as masses. So 57.1% carbon gets written as 57.1 grams. Same story with hydrogen, nitrogen and oxygen. Just take all those percentages and write them as grams. The second step is to use our beloved formula n equals little m over big M and we take each of those masses and divide it by the molar mass. So for carbon, it's got a molar mass of 12, take the 57.1, divide it by 12. For hydrogen, the molar mass is 1, 6.16 over 1. Do the same for nitrogen and oxygen. Um, hit equals on your calculator. Uh, that gives out a number of moles. I'm presenting all my answers to three significant figures here. After that, we look at all of those numbers we just calculated and we look for the smallest one and divide every single number by that smallest one and that gives us a ratio. Hit equals again and you'll see down here I've got 7, 9, 1 and 2.5. The 9 I've put a little squiggly line there. The squiggly, uh, squiggly equal sign just means that it's approximately 9. After that You'll notice that 2.5 is the odd number out in the sense that it's not a whole number. You must have a whole number um, before you start writing your empirical formula. So to get rid of it, you either multiply it by 2 or 3 or 4 um, to try and make a whole number. In this case, if I multiply everything by 2, I can get rid of the 2.5. Remember, you can't just multiply one number. You have to multiply all of them. On to the next step, um, That's that gives us 14, 18, 2 and 5. Then we can write the empirical formula. Remember I've got carbon in the left column which is C14, then I've got hydrogen in the next column H18, N2 and O5. Onwards to um, starting on how to write the molecular formula, we start by taking the molar mass of our empirical formula. So that's 14 carbons in there and the molar mass of carbon is 12 so 14 times 12 followed by 18 hydrogens times 1 the ones from the 1 gram per mole which is the molar mass of hydrogen similar treatment for nitrogen and oxygen hit equals 294 grams per mole again remember I'm presenting to three significant figures the next step is to find the factor and to do that we look at the molar mass of our original molecule in the question that's the bit in red 294 grams per mole and we divide it by the molar mass of the empirical formula the bit in orange and that gives us exactly one now what that means is that when I get to step eight to calculate my molecular formula I take the factor of one and multiply it by the empirical formula which means the molecular formula doesn't change while it's not different to the empirical formula if the factor was say two then I'd have to double the 14 to 28, 18 to 36, the 2 to 4, and the 5 to 10 for carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, and oxygen. 